Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about beginner basics. So one of the biggest things that we need to teach our clients is how to set them up for success in movement. And so um, whether you're on the Cadillac, the Reformer, whether you're on the mat, Figuring out how to get a neutral spine placement while you're laying down on your back is very important. So Jen, I'm gonna have you just lay down for me. Nice little log roll there. And that's actually a very important thing that you wanna also teach your clients is, you know, the manner in which they get on and off the equipment or on and off of the mat is really important. So side log rolling to come up so they're not jolting themselves up and kind of stressing out the shoulders and neck is very, very important. So here Jen is laying down. And let's say we were gonna start with, you know, knee folds in mat class. Well, we could start Jen just as she is, or we could really, get her spinal placement just perfect so that it's easier for her to fire her core musculature and really kind of fine tune the movement. So I'm looking at Jen here and I'm seeing a few things that um, we need to address. The first one is these shoulders. Um, her collarbones are poking out, the shoulders are rolled forward, her head is kind of jutting back here, and also her ribs are pretty open and the right side of her body is, is kind of cinching together a little bit. So first thing I'm gonna have Jen do is roll to the side towards the camera for a moment, and I'm gonna get this posture pillow down and have her roll back. Ah, oh, so much better. So from here, we're really using this little bit of an incline to help us find the relaxed, open shoulder placement. And notice right through here, this is a really important key. Before we're even cueing any of the abdominal work, we have this nice, easy rib cage with the back of the solar plexus rooting into the mat. And so this is actually, this placement is the start of a really good ab curl, right? So now from here, it actually did a wonderful thing for her body also. It helped to find, um, it made it easier for her pelvis to find that tailbone heavy sensation, the sitting bones wide, and quite honestly, it really helped you to decompress this right side of your body. And sometimes it's just that easy as getting maybe a pillow a little bit bigger than this, or maybe a little bit smaller, but really taking the time to do that for your client um, teaches them that they can do it for themselves too when they do things at home for homework or also if you have a big group um, mat class they can kind of grab the props that they're used to um, needing so that they can kind of insert that perfect placement now Jen doesn't necessarily need this but I do want to show this to you we like to have a lot of hand towels around um, so if you had a client that was still pretty tucked through here, even after giving them this uh, pillow there, you can take a towel, quite simply, roll it up. I'm gonna have Jen lift. We're gonna put it under the low back. And so it almost feels like her pelvis is spilling onto the mat. And actually, a lot of times uh, when I'm working out by myself, I know Jennifer does this too, it's really good to have these little cues when you don't have a teacher's eye on yourself also. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you again soon.